Grade 8 math number 14.2b, we're talking about trend lines and predictions. Now we're going to talk about finding the equation of a trend line. So a trend line, as we said in the last video, is a straight line that comes closest to the points of the data values. See my pink trend line coming right up in between these data values? And when there's a linear association, we can use a line to show the relationship of the data between x and y variables. You just drew a line right up the middle there. We want to make sure there's as many on top as on bottom, though, so that the line's going right up the middle. We can use a trend line to make a prediction from our scatter plot by drawing a line that fits the points as closely as possible. Then we write an equation for our line and use it to make predictions by substituting values and solving. And we have to remember, you disregard any outliers because they don't fit the trend. Don't include them in the trend line. So if we had an outlier way out over here, just ignore it and do our trend line, okay? So we can use two points on a trend line to write an equation in slope-intercept form. Now if you're lost about this, then you've kind of gotten ahead of yourself. Go back and watch video 4.2c or any of the 4.2 videos, A, B, C. And I'll put a link to this in the description of this video so you can just click on it. So I'm going to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So here's our scatter plot. This over here is money earned, this is our y-axis, and here's the hours worked, that's our x-axis. And this scatter plot and trend line show the relationship between hours worked and money earned. We can write an equation for this trend line. Just remember, make about the same number of points above the line as there is below the line. So if you look here are my green points, I've got one, two, three above the line, and I got one, two, three below the line. See that? And remember, when we're doing this slope-intercept form, the M is going to stand for the slope of the line, and the B back here is going to stand for where the line hits the y-axis, where it intercepts that y. So if the y-intercept was 60, then that means the line would go through 60 right here on the y-axis. See? Can you see where it's going through here? It's going through at 0 at the origin, isn't it? All right, so tuck that in your mind for a little bit because we're going to end up finding that out in the end. So first, we find the slope of the trend line, and it passes through the points 1, 10. We can see right here it's at 1, 10, 1x, 10y, all right? And it goes through 3.5 and 35. It goes through... Here's 3.5 in between the 3 and the 4. It goes through 3.5 and 35. That's in between 30 and 40. You want as many points as possible. So it might have even have been better to use this point at 5.5 and, and 55. Okay? The more points that are between it, the easier it is to do. You want to make sure that you've got several of these points above and below it when you do that. When I use 3 and a half, I've got a point here and a point here, so it's kind of even, see? I could have used this one and there would have been 2 above and 2 below. That would have worked also, all right? So now we're going to use the slope formula. Do you remember the slope formula from earlier in the year? M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Do you remember that? If not, there's going to be a link for this video in the description, okay? So... What we do is we take the second y value, that's this one. See, here's the first values, here's the second values. The orange are the x's and the greens are the y. So y2 would be the 35, y1 would be the 10, x2 would be 3.5, and x1 would be the 1. And all we have to do is plug those numbers in, okay? So this is x1, y1, x2, y2, okay? So y2 is 35 minus y1, 10. 35 minus 10 is 25. x2 is 3.5 minus x1, the 1. 3.5 minus 1 is 2.5. And we just do the math. 25 divided by 2.5 is 10. So we now know that m equals 10. And remember, m stands for the slope. All right? Now we find the y-intercept in the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use the 1 values, the x1, y1 values, the 1 and the 10, to do this. So that means if we're going to plug those numbers in, then that means y1 is going to be 10, because remember it's a 10, and that's going to equal our slope of 10 that we got right here, the m, see? 
and x1, you remember, was a 1. So we're going to put that there. And then we have our b, the y-intercept, okay? And that's what we're trying to find. We're going to try to find this y-intercept b by doing this, okay? So 10 times 1 is 10. So now we've got 10 equals 10 plus b. If we subtract 10 from both sides, we get 0 equals b. Now we know what the b equals. We know what y is. We know what m is. We know what b is. We can use the slope and the y values to write the equation. The y equals mx plus b, this slope-intercept form ends up becoming y equals 10x plus 0. We don't need to write that 0. That's extra information. If 10 equals 10 plus 0, you don't need to put plus 0 at the end. It's 10 equals 10, right? So we have y equals 10x. That is our equation. Now, this is a positive linear slope, okay? Here's three things I want you to see. This is a positive linear slope. See that? It's going up positive. It's rising to the right. And we can see that zero work hours equals zero dollars. Here's zero for the x-axis and zero for the y-axis. You do zero work, you get zero dollars. See? It went right through the origin, zero, zero. And we can tell how much they make per hour. They make $10 an hour. You know how we know? Look at One hour of work is 10. And that's the money earned in dollars. See? So we, we found out all of those things. Okay? So that's how we find the equation of a trend line. I'm going to talk about making predictions in 14.2c. We're slowly getting through this. We're almost finished with chapter 14, and we only have chapter 15 left after this, and we're finished with 8th grade math. Okay? Got about 8 to 10 more videos, and we're done. Okay? We're getting there. Keep trying. I believe in you. We'll get through this. Bye.